Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this time a topic of discussion is primer designing. So how to design a primer set, specific primer set that could be used to amplify or to get the multiple copies of the targeted DNA. So for example our target is exon of certain uh, gene. So <clears throat> for example this one is the exon in TYR gene, this highlighted portion. So if you want to, uh, if our aim is to sequence the exon, <coughs> then we should have the intronic sequences upstream and downstream surrounding the exon. Because uh, for the Sanger sequencing, if uh, you will, uh, if you would exactly design the primer near or adjacent to the exonic portion, then the initial 50 to 60 uh, base pair sequence is always is a rough data. So, uh, if you design the adjacent primer, then definitely your exonic sequence will not be clean. The initial and the last exonic sequence will be not clean. So, that's why we need to have uh, upstream and downstream exonic intronic sequences. For example, this one. Copy this sequence and paste it in somewhere in the uh, Word file. Then we need to set some parameters. Uh, for example, our first aim is that the exon should amplify. So exon is our target sequence. So the target sequence should be enclosed inside the square bracket, like this way. Our second aim is to exclude at least 50 to 60 base pair regions surrounding the exon or intron exon boundaries because we don't want our primer to be designed adjacent to the exon because we need the complete exonic sequence to be very clean. So, uh, <clears throat> we will set the parameter uh, to ask the software that don't design the primer within this excluded region. So, for that we need to enclose the excluded region inside the greater than less than sign. For example, from here to this sequence, downstream and also the upstream as well. Like in this way. So, now we have set our parameters. We have defined uh, the target region which should amplify we have defined the excluded region uh, <clears throat> within which the software uh, is commanded not to design the primer and that the software is commanded to design the primer outside this excluded region so then copy all the sequence after that and type primer 3 uh, web and then <clears throat> you will come to this result page just click on the first the top option primer 3 input so this one is the home page of the primer 3 web uh, online tool for designing a primer so once again you have to set some parameters the first thing you need to have this option on board then <clears throat> click in this query box and paste the sequence make sure that these two boxes should be checked left primer and pick right primer this should not be checked in this box you need to define the sequence id for example gene tyr underscore and if you are going to design uh, the primer set for exon number two <clears throat> leave all these options by default because we already have defined these features like the target region the excluded region already just scroll down the page and just stop by this option here we need to define the primer size so all these parameters depends upon your uh, experimental design just scroll down here you need to define the product size scroll down further and the last parameter that you need to uh, set is GC clamp so just type here one so one means that uh, the software will choose that primer which should end at least with the C or the G nucleotide in the end only one nucleotide either C or G so if you will type 2 then the software will try to find uh, that kind of primer which should end at either 2C or 2G or 1C and G so then just click on the pick primer so here your primer is being designed <clears throat> this one is your left primer or final primer and this one is your right primer or the reverse primer. 
<clears throat> this one is the length of the primer. These are the melting temperature, the GC content and so on. This one is the product size. So graphically you can see here that this was the sequence that you, ju that you just pasted inside the query box. The forward arrow shows that the forward primer is picked physically from this position. All this cross region indicates the excluded region. The static region from here up till here indicates the target region that you, that you enclosed inside the square bracket and this reverse arrow shows that the reverse primer is physically picked from this region.